This is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and Joseph Tsukiamen. This game was played in Paris in 1933. And who is Joseph Tsukiamen? He was not just another street champion. He was champion of many streets. He was actually Moscow champion in 1921. Alexander Lehin had white pieces and he started with d4. Joseph Tsukiamen played d5, c4, queen's gambit, e6 declined, knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, bishop to e7. This is the main line, e3, knight from b to d7, knight to f3. Joseph Tsukiamen castle at kingside, rook to c1 b6 intending bishop to b7 he takes on d5 very precise move this is going to make black light squared bishop a bad bishop he takes on d5 bishop to b5 bishop to b7 alehin castled kingside a6 bishop to a4 c5 why to move Watch this. First move. Bishop takes on d7. Knight takes on d7. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. D takes on c5. And black had to recapture with the queen. If, if pawn takes, knight takes on d5. Queen takes on c5. And white is better. Why is white better? Now, very precise play is continued. Knight to d4. Rook from a to c8, fighting for the open file. Knight to f5, intending queen to g4 and checkmate. King to h8. Knight to e2, discovered attack on the queen. Queen to b4, threatening queen takes pawn on b2. White move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Alehin played queen to d4, defending the pawn, intending to exchange queens, and another minor thing, can you notice this minor thing? For example, if queen goes to a5, avoiding queen exchanges, then queen takes on g7 checkmate. So black had to exchange queens. Knight from e takes on d4, endgame. Rook takes rook, rook takes rook. And white is in the control of the open file. Knight to c5, white to move. Now watch Alehin's knight's dance and make his opponent dizzy. Knight to d6, attacking the bishop. Bishop to a8. b4, forcing the knight to move. Knight to d3, rook to c7, invasion on the 7th rank. King to g8, well, black can't capture the pawn on b4 because of a knight takes on f7 check. King to g8, knight to e6 attacking the rook, rook going to somewhere safe. Knight to d6 threatening rook takes on g7 if g6, this is just one line to show you what would happen if f7 was not defended. Checkmate. Okay. That is why Tsukiamen played king to g8. Knight to c8. Threatening knight takes on b6. Knight takes on b4. Knight takes on b6. Rook to b8. If knight takes on a2. White has a winning move. The winning move is Rook to a7. Black, light, squared bishop can't escape. So Tsukiamen played the rook to b8, attacking the knight and hoping to get to b1. Knight to d7, attacking the rook. Rook to d8. a3, attacking the knight. Knight to d3. Rook to a7. 
Rook to c8, the mystic move. The threat is Rook to c1, checkmate. White, play the move when black is designed. The move is King to f1. Black resigned. One line goes like this. Knight to b2. Knight to b6, forking two pieces. Rook to b8. Rook takes bishop. Rook takes rook. Knight takes rook. And we can stop here. Very precise game by Alexander Lechin. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.